Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at Furfru. Finally, we can take a look at this thing. Um, yeah, this Pokemon came out yesterday. Usually I always cover the Pokemon the day it comes out. But this time around, you need a lot of XL candies for this thing. In total, you need like nearly 300, 296, I think, is the maximum for level 50. You need a handle for that thing. And it goes then to like close to 2400 CP. You see mine uh, close to 2300 CP. And yeah, I basically got yesterday while grinding the whole fucking <laughs> day. I got around 160 XL candy. So like I'm still missing 130. But I was totally fine with that. It took a long time anyway. So yeah, I would appreciate a like for the effort. Thanks. It always helps out for the video to get spread out wide, but yeah, here we are. We can take a look at this beautiful doggo going for the Sucker Punch here. Sucker Punch is actually a move that is never used for any Pokemon really, but it's not even that bad of a move. It's basically a Wing Attack clone. Wing Attack gets used by some Pokemon like Charizard. It's actually the better move on that, in my opinion. And here we just destroy the Deoxys defense with my Furfu. But yeah. Um, is this thing good or not? We kind of have to take a look at this today. In general, how did it go? I played four sets. The first set I don't really want to count. Why did I don't want to count that? It was so horrible likewise. Like you're gonna see most likely in those matches as well. Like I haven't had a bad day that bad for like ages. I haven't really complained about lag recently. But today it was bad. Like literally bad. Like there was nothing I can do. It was not even like stutter lag that I just like stand still or something. It's just like I get completely farmed down and stuff like this. I just like it just freezes for both uh, people for like a half a minute or something. And then I posted like on Twitter, yeah, okay, like it's today horrible and stuff like this. And like everybody said it for them it was the same. And I don't want to say it's like only on my side or on my opponent's side it was sometimes, but if you like die with your Snorlax with two moves stored, like two superpowers stored while you still had like some health just randomly, even though you just wanted to throw them just because the game lags and you get farmed down. I mean, it's not really competitive, it's like, like you cannot really show, show that. So yeah, the first set I went 05, the second set I went 5-0. Which I didn't expect with this thing, like in general. This team is not even like really broken or anything like this. You see like <laughs> my Pokemon, I have one XL there and one XL that does, is not even perfect XL. And pretty easy achieve achievable. I actually powered up my Toxic Croak. By the way, this team has nothing in I I kind of have to like do a team effort there around this thing. But yeah, Bandit Bus is really bad against this team, especially with Ash. But yeah, um, Toxic Rogue actually powered up already, I think, in January or something, when we didn't have the XL update where you can get XLs from trade, XLs from walking and stuff like this. So yeah, um, that's why I don't really have the best IVs on that, because right now I already have like again 200 XL candy from that just because we had like three events or something where we could have got this thing. Uh, maybe I pull up and better one someday, but right now I'm taking this, which is fine. We have Snorlax in the same swap of Pokemon that should nearly everybody have right now. And Furfur in the back. Of course, like, there were actually some games, I think like 2 3, where I still had less CP than I had in the end. Here you see me at 2263. Well, um, after midnight, like I played this like directly after midnight, but I had like some home spawns, which gave me some more fur fruit and, and gave me the, basically the last needed candies for one more power up, which was nice. So that's why you see like two different IVs. Uh, IV is not a CP sometimes. But yeah, I had two positive sets, two negative sets with this team. Not not too bad, but also of course not too crazy. Is Furfru meta? Of course not. Is Furfru fun to play? 100%. The thing was really, really funny. Like in general, the moveset is really cool. I think it's, it might be even better for Great League because you can get basically a better IV spread for that then. But having surfed and the Grass Knot is such a good coverage in general. Of course, uh, that would, it would be cool if I had like a better quick move. Maybe we got like a C day for that thing for a better quick move. That would be cool. Even quick attack most likely would be better. But yeah, surf knights, uh, surf and grass knight. I said night slash right now because I see on my graphic on the right, I said night slash instead of the grass knight, but you won't see that because I'm mostly going to add that away again <laughs> after this, after I commentated this. But yeah, this confuses me right now because it says night slash for me below surf. 
But I won't say no, it's not for you, Bill Surf. So, never mind there. We can farm on the Dragology, and my opponent has the Jess, and there's nothing really we can do here. He has two shields still left there. It's a bit tricky, especially I think he has Ice Beam. Oh, no, he has Bubble Beam. Okay. I mean, I can try to go for the Grass Knot here, but. He has shields, and I can go for another Grass Knot. And. Yeah, he goes for another move here. Really, really tricky in general. I'm gonna swap out there. I can go for one Mud Bomb at least. But. Yeah, he actually got him low. I think the. The Shadow Ball gonna KO and he can farm us down and get to a move here, can't he? He cannot because he can farm down before. Furfro P, yeah, Furfro is like the one of the hardest counters to Jellison. Like, what does Jellison want to do against this thing? We have a grass type move, we have a dark type move, we're a normal type. It's everything that Jellison doesn't want to see. So that's why I also had that in the back with a fighter in the lead because the fighter in the lead doesn't do anything against ghost types. They have two good ghost, ghost types counters in the back. Also, I use Toxic Croak instead of any other fighting type because Toxic Croak had the poison typing. And poison typing allows him to counter other fighting types as well, which is really good because we have two normal types in the back. And especially the um, first who doesn't want to face fighting types, as Sucker Punch is also resistant from them. Here against Excadrill R, my opponent goes into the Ignite. I have to let this move go. Yes, I, I knew that my opponent already had the. Uh, G Fist in the back because it's kind of common line up to have uh, Dragon Knight double basically Mud Boy, like steal Mud Boys. I don't know. It's a very common lineup, so I, I basically knew what I had to expect in the back. I can go for the Surf. And now it depends if my opponent can get to two moves before I get to, can get to another Surf here. I actually get the Quick Move in here, which I thought, okay, maybe I actually get there. I need one more Quick Move and we see MP and we lose CMP here. Very, very close game. I think that could have been gone e either way. I think if I stayed in for one turn against the Dragon Knight, I actually would have won this game, which is hilarious, but yeah, sometimes it just doesn't go right. Yeah, just try to bait with the Sludge Bomb and then swap out into the Snorlax. Nine Tails, of course, something you don't really want to see with the Fervor as well, but Snorlax can just take those Weather Balls way better. And if you bait out the fighting type, which we always want to do with these Snorlax anyway. The most common fighting type is Scrafty in this current meta, so having access to superpower is pretty decent. And yeah, I just gonna go for the Body Slam first, and then for the superpower, as it's gonna ensure that I do more damage with the Body Slam, as we're gonna get debuffed here now. And we should be able to farm all the way down. My opponent goes into a Jellicent, and I have my Furfu, but it's still not the best matchup now because my opponent still has the Ninetales here. And we just do nothing against the Ninetales, and my opponent baits here, and I don't think there's a way where we can win this, to be honest. I can go for another move here. He goes for Alex. He just spams me dead to death, like what the hell. I can go for the Surf, which gonna be able to KO him now. And I think he has Ice Beam. Yep, and this is just a good game. I mean, what what do I want to do here? I can go for a Mod Bomb, but I have to hope that he shields something here, otherwise I'm kind of screwed. And yeah, we can go for another Mod Bomb, and my opponent throws a charge move. Gonna be the Shadow Ball, gonna KO us, but yeah, he most likely gonna get to a move right now. We can go for a Surf, and I actually can go for a Grass Knot and win this game with the 1 HP in the Dream. Furfu is like the best choice of that, it's just hilarious to see that all the time. Here we have a pretty decent lead and Deoxys defense comes in, I kinda want to go for the Sludge Bomb. I think we see Peter here and that was like a big mistake on my part. Yep, I tried to stop out there, but my opponent made, made a great play there and goes for the wrong move as well. Like the right move for him, but the wrong move for me. And here I expect him to go for the Slaker Boost anyway, which he's gonna do. And now he's debuffed and I can just farm him all the way down with my Thick Boy. But I think he's gonna save some energy here actually. Yeah, and he's gonna swap out into the Ferrothorn. We have our fighting type quick uh, charge move here for that thing, and we're gonna put him really low. Really, really low. And I hope he has Jettison in the back. It's actually, a com I think it's a common lineup. What if he had Jettison in the back? I think that's nothing too crazy. But I don't know. I, I don't know his, his team yet. Ah, uh, he has Mandibus in the back and I just go for the move here. Yeah, I mean, I expected my opponent to go into Deoxys Defense and he gets extra moves in off guard the whole time. Because uh, Deoxys Defense has a move stored, I think. I have to shield here actually because of I, I need the damage there and my opponent perfectly swaps into the Deoxys Defense and I think this is game over now. Re really well played by our opponent there. 
think I should have won this game easily, but yeah, Furfu has nothing against this thing. Sadly, Seraph doesn't do sh anything against this thing. It just has way better stats product than my Furfu, sadly, so... We're gonna see him wriggling with his lamp at the back. It looks really like this lamp, or like this pin. This pin also kind of looks like this, the Furfu, but it has a cool head. I actually just used the, this Furfu version for... Uh, oh, we actually get to the move here for the colors. <laughs> oh, I tried to... Hey, wait, are we actually reading this? We go to the foul play, time is up, and I think we have like barely enough... We have actually barely enough HP there. Lol, <laughs> what the hell? Fairfax first just to appear, I just wanted to say, of course. What else? Yeah, just tried to catch a move. And didn't really work out. Cool, and he goes into SK. So many SKs against my Snorlax today, like that was crazy. He goes for a drill run, which I like, because now you can definitely just go for two super powers and do a lot of damage against them. I think I should have tried to lick down more, because I know my opponent gonna try to farm down, and here it just comes down to the wire, like one move basically. And yeah, it didn't work out for me. I hope I can catch the move here now with my Furfu, which I'm gonna be able to, but I think it's a bubble beam. And yeah, I think I just surrender here. Exactly, there was nothing I can do. There was completely hard counter line. There was literally nothing I can do there. Against my next opponent, Samurai against me in the lead. I know after five turns he gets to the move. Because I also played this Pokemon and made a video about this thing. With, uh, with the Fury Cutter. Also saw like people running it now with a waterfall, which I think is actually uh, maybe even better than I expected it to be. Because you see a lot of Chiefs, you see a lot of Ninetales. But here my opponent goes into Typhlosion and he sneaks an, an extra incinerate against me and this was like so huge. I thought, okay, this game is now over. There is nothing I can do here, really. I can go for the map bomb there, but I mean, oh, what, what, what can I do? I should let this go, it KOs me. He needs one more turn to get to the next move. He goes for two. And yeah, I have my Furfu now against him and yeah, I can go for one serve. I have to sack now perfectly on the Snorlax, but my opponent swaps out, which is fine for me, and he goes to Samurott, I can just farm this thing down, and now goes into Gengar, and I was like, hmm, he needs still one turn with the Typhlosion. I catch the move here, it's gonna be a Shadow Ball only. I can try to lick him down, which is fine, and now I can farm him all the way down, and I can go for the Surf, and the Surf who just served my whole opponent, he destroyed every Pokemon. Like, what the hell? Furfu is just OP, of course. Next up, we have Umbreon. Was this, this Umbreon matchup? Yeah, my opponent stays in here. And you knowing my opponent staying in here, I know he had Psychic. Like, there's no way you stay in against this matchup if you don't have Psychic. I'm just gonna go for one extra Sludge Bomb here. And I'm gonna shield again. And now I know I can count him into the range of two Mud Bombs. So that's basically what I'm gonna do here. I know he needs one more quick move to get to the next Psychic, and he basically screws up here as I have still basically my full Toxic Rogue alive. My opponent goes into the Crobat, he goes into the Sylveon, and basically everything worked perfectly fine for me here. Still the Crobat is a big issue as both of my Pokemon in the back cannot really do anything against it. But the Sylveon I think tries to farm me down now. But Snorlax is just too broken and gets to another move and just destroys this thing. And here we can, he goes into Crobat, goes for the Poison Fang, actually cool shiny Crobat. But we can still get to a body slam, like, ah, Snorlax is just such a nice thick boy. And we can go into the Furfu. This Furfu should be, yeah, handily taking this Poison Fang. We can go for a Surf. And after this next Poison Fang, I'm gonna swap out here, because if he farms me down and gets to a Shadow Ball against my Toxic Rook, I'm gonna lose. But if I swap out, I definitely secure the win here. So good game there. Next up, we're gonna have Umbreon against us again, but this time he swaps out into Sylveon. I'm just gonna try to... He gets the extra quick move in there, which was like really bad. But this was not only the worst thing there. He gets another quick move in there, and this is actually kinda problematic now. As he has way more energy than he should have at this point. But yeah, at least we got a shield already, I had to shield there as well. And he went for the Psyshock bait, which is even worse. And he gets to another move with 1 HP, which should not happen yearly. Really cool. He goes into the Needle Queen here. So we basically can align our Pokemon at least, right? I can go into my Furfro now. Furfro is Surf for Needle Queen. And I don't know if my opponent really wants to take that. 
It, this thing looks like so funny. Like if I'm imagining going into a Go Battle League match and then you see like this stupid doggo there. I'm gonna save up one of my serves there and I can just shield here the last resort in case it's a psychic. Which I expected not to be because it doesn't make sense to have psychic with his team as he has already a Nido Queen, which is good against fighting types, and he has already a charm user, which is good against fighting types. I can farm him down. I can go for the Mudclown, put him low. Should seem P tie with my opponent here. And yeah, we can go for a surf now, and you sh should be able to finish up this match here with a fur through. Gonna be a good game. And he actually surrenders there. Very good game to my opponent. Next up, we're gonna have a Toxic against Rift Blim. Uh, that's a matchup you don't really want to see here. But we swap at 7 again, but my opponent just goes for the Icy Wind, which was a wise. And he can counter me perfectly with a Scrafty, so sadly, into the last game here, we're gonna get hard countered. It's, it's gonna be difficult if you can come back from that. <laughs> Drift Blim lead in general, of course, yeah. Drift Blim and Jealous and leads are the worst thing that you can have with a Toxic Rogue. My opponent stood still here, which is fine, as I think he just wanted to get rid of the time bit. Like, he was a bit switch locked because he threw the charge move, so very well played by my opponent. He also foul played, and I just bet I hope that my Furfo can deal with whatever is in the back. It's a stun fisk. And this matchup is not the worst, actually, because you have like Surf. I think if he had a fully XL um, Furfo. We actually would two shot this thing with Surf and the extra quick moves, which we sadly don't do here because we're not completely fully XL. I think the extra damage would matter a lot there. We could have at least found him down here, and I think we would have won this game. But like this, sadly, we have to go into our Toxic Croak here. And my opponent has his Drift which just can farm down. It's gonna have too much energy for us, but still. I think, I mean, of course, it's not fully matter, but I think you maybe actually should try to get a fur food just because it's so much fun to play. I just had so, so much fun to play with this. Maybe even for Great League, maybe try that out there. I don't think it's a bad Pokemon. The quick uh, the quick move is, of course, a bit mad, but it's like a wing attack clone, so not that bad. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.